Hi, my name is Tom Ludd. I'm a freelance designer and founder of the Designers League. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of the effects panel on Affinity Designer for Mac. So let's open up the effects panel. We go to View, down to Studio, and then to Effects. Now you can see on the right hand side all these effects have appeared that we can toggle on and off. Let's go ahead and add a blur to this square. Note how you can change the radius of this in the drop down below quickly. Let's also add a shadow to this circle again, being able to change the radius of this in the drop down is really great. Finally, let's add a gradient overlay to this triangle. Now, with the effects panel, it is non destructive, so you can toggle it on and off. Let's tweak this gradient overlay further though. We can open up this layer effects menu by going to the gear icon right here. Now let's tweak this gradient. I'm going to change the color on the left to a blue. Just going to find the right one. And change the right to a nice purple. You can also change the angle here. There we go. So now we've got a gradient. Maybe we want to create a style for this so that we can add it to the other two objects. So let's click on the object, go to the Styles tab, and scroll down to Add Style from Selection. Select your two objects, and click on the style. There we go. Now let's export it. Go down to Export Styles. Let's give it a name. And click Save. There we go, ready to send someone else. Importing is just as easy. Go to Import Styles. Here's one I found from the Affinity Designer Forums. Make sure it's an AF Styles file, and then click Open. There we go, it's in. And now you can apply these styles to your objects as you please. Thanks for watching.